In this video, we'll be going over how to utilize the Fin Network multi-instance architecture to help you streamline the management of sites with multiple instances of Fin. The Fin Network Tree is a remote management tool that simulates the user experience as if the user were connected to the remote project itself. It basically allows you to add all of your different Fin instances via connectors to the Fin Network Tree in the DB Builder app. It allows interactions between projects such as drag and drop, syncing of users and groups, and editing records through a proxy, all without having to log on to each device separately, ultimately saving valuable time and resources. All right, so let's go over how it works. We're gonna start with setting up the remote management. Assuming that you already have multiple Fin instance projects set up and ready to go, the first step will be to enable the Fin network extension. To do this, select the app launcher icon on the left, then select the settings tile under advanced apps, and this will open a drawer with the following options, extension, proj, header, and alarm. Select the extension option to open up the extensions. This will open a side menu on the right where the extension will be in alphabetical order. Scroll down and find the Fin Network extension. If the version number is green, this means that the extension is enabled. If the version number is red, this means that the extension is disabled. Select the extension if it is disabled, and this will open a drawer. Select the enable option and refresh the page. This will add a new tree to the DB Builder's tree menu called Fin Network. To use the Fin Network feature, you must have Haystack connectors added that point to other Fin 5.1 instances. So to do this, navigate to and select Haystack under the connectors tree. Then select the Add button. A pop-up called Add Haystack Connector will get displayed. Begin filling out the form with the information of the remote Fin instance project you'd like to connect to. Since you're connecting to another Fin instance, the format should look something similar to the URI I have displayed on the screen, except the IP, the port, and the project name will be different based on the Fin instance you're connecting to. Make sure to type in the correct username and password. Repeat this process for all the remote projects you'd like to have on your Fin network. Once added, navigate and expand the Fin network tree. This will display all of the available Fin Haystack projects. Expanding a remote project will dynamically display all of its DB Builder trees. With remote access to the DB Builder trees of a project, you can now take advantage of viewing and interacting with remote records. One of the interactive features of the Fin network is the drag and drop. The drag and drop feature allows the ability to easily drag and drop database records between projects. Drag and drop allows any tree node and its child nodes to be dragged in the following ways. Remote to local, which is the most typical use case. Remote to remote, or from local to the remote. So let's try a few examples to show what we can do with the drag and drop. The first example will be to create a copy. In this test scenario, we'll drag site A local from the remote project to the local equip tree. We can see that a copy was created in the local database. The original still exists in the remote project. Records that are copied or moved would include a tag called ref that holds the original ID they have in the project they were being dragged from, as well as an archived refs tag that contains the original ID of the references. The next example is the Fin Network's ability to move records intelligently. In our current scenario, we have Site A in the local database. Let's say I accidentally moved the Site A equip under a different site. Or perhaps I thought I wanted it there, but now I don't. I can simply drag that very same equip from my remote A project and drag it back into the location it's supposed to be in, in the local tree, and it will automatically move the existing equip record and its children to the correct location without creating a duplicate. This is part of the smarts with the Fin network. It knows that it already exists in the local database via the orig ref tag. The third example has to do with archived refs. In this scenario, we have awk mode in the local database. It has a schedule ref to site A schedule in the remote project. In the local database, the schedule ref is null because that schedule record doesn't exist in the local database. However, it does have the archived refs tag, which includes the ID of the schedule record found in the remote project. So let's drag the site A schedule to the local database from the remote project. Now that site A schedule exists in the local database, another smarts of the Fin network 
is that it knows that it should be linked to the awk mode point. It creates that link and the archived refs tag is removed since there are no other references to archive on that record. Going back to the Fin Network tree, another convenient feature is that it has a Fin Network overview. This provides an overview of all the Haystack projects on the network and their status, as well as the ability to sync users and groups to all the projects on that network. Sync users is a very powerful feature that takes all the users and groups in the local database and then goes to every project that is shown in the Fin Network overview and updates their user and groups with the local user and group settings. When activated, a Fin Network user will be created and added to each remote project. It will also replace the super user credentials on the local database Haystack connectors with it. The password is dynamically generated so that no one knows. This changes each time the sync users button is clicked on. If the Fin Network user is deleted in a remote project for whatever reason, the sync will no longer work for that particular project. The user will have to update the Haystack connector credentials to that project with a super user credential to make it work again. One important note is if there are any existing users in the remote project, they will be overwritten and removed if they don't exist in the local database. Another important note is that all usernames and passwords are copied from local from the local database to all of the remote projects. That means if the users in the local database do not have strong passwords, then neither will the users in the remote projects. So that's the sync users feature. As a general plus, the Fin network also allows access to a majority of the more common Fin tools to be used within the remote projects. So those are a few of the very powerful features that come with the Fin network. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we hope you have yourself a very fantastic day. Thanks for watching.